course, the coronavirus epidemic is hitting in the middle of the Internet era. That means a lot of people are sharing information about it on social media. Some of it's true, some of it's false. Yeah, and that can make it challenging to find the best way to protect yourself and also your family from the virus. Dr. Radha Krishna is an infectious disease physician with Hollywood Presbyterian Medical Center. She joins us live to help separate this fact from myth. All right, first of all, doctor, thank you so much for being here and taking the time. I want to start with a more abstract question. A lot of people seem to be really polarized about this epidemic. Some are really quite concerned, even to the point of panic. Others have been exactly the opposite, saying they're not at all worried about this. Can you offer some sort of general insight about how we should be approaching this and what we should be doing to prepare? Oh, thank you for having me. And yes, um, people react differently to information. And uh, the most um, common um, ideas that people have is, you know, they start to panic or some others think this is a conspiracy th theory. Um, there is coronavirus in the community and there seems to be more information that says that we are having person-to-person -person transmission, but also we know that um, it is not as bad as we thought it should be. That most of the people have mild disease and they do just fine. Yeah, and So that is important to also remember. And that's good to know. And doctor, you know, can you talk about some of the measures that you've seen people taking that are not necessarily helpful and, you know, what should people be doing instead? Uh, the most important thing, if you don't have any symptoms, wearing a mask is not protective. Instead, what is protective is to wash your hands or use a hand sanitizer and avoid touching your face, your mouth, your eyes and nose area. Um, and if someone is sick, then cover the cough with a mask. Uh, most people have mild disease, so they're most likely going to be at home and cared for by other family members. So if possible, separate the room where they are at and wear the mask around other people and uh, do not share towels. And if possible, have a separate bathroom. Dr. Radhakrishna, we haven't seen any evidence so far of community spread in Los Angeles County and other counties that has happened in other parts of the country too, like Washington State. But we have heard public health officials tell us that we should expect the disease to spread in this country. So do you think it is inevitable in Southern California that we will see that community transmission or should we keep up some hope that we can contain this virus somehow? Um, this is a, a brand new viral infection. We don't know everything about it. We are basing our thoughts and recommendations based on what we have seen so far. And so you should always be prepared for the worst. So person to person transmission is possible and it has been demonstrated. So let's be careful. Just like any cold or cough that people get um, during this um, period, including influenza, we try to limit people who are ill from spreading it to other people. Let's do the same thing. Let's have them stay at home if they're sick until they're feeling better and they can go back to work. Do understand most people with COVID-19 have mild symptoms or can be asymptomatic. And so these are the individuals who are most at risk for giving it to other people. So if you can take off from work then and you are ill, please do so and um, stay away from your family members so that you don't transmit it to the other members in your family. And doctor, last question for you. We know the coronavirus spreads via droplets, meaning from coughing or sneezing. So if someone was to cough or sneeze on a surface, can someone catch the virus by touching that surface later? And how do you know just how long the virus can survive on the surface? As I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of um, information on COVID-19 we don't have complete information on. We do know that it can stay on that surface for hours. And the most common place where, which is difficult to clean, are your keyboards, where when people have coughed and sneezed and someone else comes to that workstation and starts using it, and then subsequently touches their face and uh, face area, they are at risk of inoculating the infection to themselves. That's why we're telling them to use um, use a hand sanitizer when possible, wash your hands frequently, do not touch your face. All right, all great advice. We really appreciate your time, Dr. Suman Radhakrishna. Thank you so much for being here and sorting out fact versus myth when it comes to the coronavirus epidemic.